I've had the TIG welder for quite a while, but I always wanted a MIG welder. However, it took me quite a while to get the gas bottle and regulator, but I've finally done that. And obviously, when you have a MIG welder, you need a project. So, I made this. It's a tyre trolley for my second pair of wheels. Let's have a look at how we built it together. The first thing I wanted the tyre trolley to do is obviously to store my tyres. I also wanted to be able to access any tyre at any time from the trolley without removing another tyre. Another important feature was that I wanted to be able to dismantle it so I could transport it in a car. And obviously I wanted it to keep my wheels safe from scratching and other damage. The design ended up being very simple. Two trays connected with uprights. That's about it. Let's check out some of the details. At the top, we have a stabilizing hoop so that the tires don't move. The top is detachable with these two bolts. They are welded on top and a nut underneath. The same goes with the bottom. That means that this upright can be removed for transport. There's a strap that hooks onto the bottom and allows the tires to be securely fastened. The whole thing is running on a pair of really cheap casters from Lidl. Let's have a look at where it all started. Oh no, this is no way to store your tires, they're in the way, they can get damaged, no good. But let's have a look in the uh, scrap pile and see what we can find. Is there a tire trolley hiding in all of this? Once we've found some stuff to use, we can start preparing it uh, so that it becomes uh, proper material. And in the beige work trousers and the dark uh, overcoat, we have the lovely Crazy Kaz sporting a fabulous Makita angle grinder with a very thin cutoff disc. Once we have the material selected and prepared, we can start cutting it to length. We're using the horizontal bandsaw to cut the material, but if you don't have that, use an angle grinder or hacksaw, that will do just fine. Because we're using scrap, these are coated in powder coat, paint, even chrome, so we need to clear that up before we start any welding. Please note that I did not do this this quickly. This footage is sped up. These angle clamps come in very handy when you are welding 90 degree corners. 
I wish I had four, but I'll make do with the two I have. As I said in the beginning, these are my first uh, MIG welds with this new welder and I was quite surprised on how well I got on. MIG welds need a little bit of a dressing up, unlike TIG welds, so uh, here I go at it with the angle grinder. These are the casters we found a little just by accident. Couldn't believe that they were under five pounds for the four of them. I just hope they're strong enough. The proper way to attach casters is to cut a plate, drill some holes in it and then attach the casters with bolts and nuts. But as this is a garage project uh, I am just welding the casters onto the uh, frame. The downside with welding is that if a caster breaks, then you have to grind them off. So be a bit sparing with uh, the amount of welds you put on. I learned this tip uh, the hard way. Ok so here's the first test fit onto the bottom tray. It's pretty good except for the casters won't swivel. I keep forgetting this. To attach the uprights I'm using a piece of angle iron and drilling some holes into it and then sticking a few bolts out through the holes, welding the bolts into the holes so that they're there permanently and that way I can bolt the upright onto the bolts. I need to make four of these. For some reason I didn't film the rest of the upright holders but what I did film was me making some gussets for the actual uprights. They're just triangles with some holes for plug welds.
In the scrap pile, I already had these bars with plates welded to the end of them. They were perfect, or almost perfect, for the uprights. So here I am welding the gussets to the top and the bottom, just to give them a little bit extra strength at the welds. There you have it, one gusset, three more to go. And next morning it was time to try to assemble it all and see if it actually works. The only tool needed is a 13mm socket or spanner to uh, attach all the uh, nuts. By putting the wheels on the trolley, I can use a little bit of organic engineering skills to determine how much of the uprights I can uh, cut off. We decided that we could shorten the uprights by 80mm. Sadly I screwed up the filming. Sorry. Whenever you are shortening or lengthening a tube, you should put another tube inside that and plug weld it so that the weld simply can't break. However, as this is a garage trolley, I'm going to ignore my own advice and just cut the tube and weld it back together. Not the prettiest job, but it'll do for a garage trolley. Time for another test assembly. Height is better and I fixed the swiveling casters by welding on a small box section. You can see that at the bottom tray to the right. I also realized that it would be good to use some straps to hold the wheels in place. So I want to weld on these tabs. They're just some washers that I put in the vise and bashed so I got a 90 degree angle at the bottom so I could weld that onto the tray. Tires on the top tray were a bit wobbly, so I decided to build a hoop to stabilize them. I found some material in the scrap pile, but it had a lot of bends in it. So I cut it up a little bit and then I decided to TIG weld it together to form the right shape.
and then it was time to weld the hoop to the top tray. Whilst we're watching the beautiful welds magically appear, I'd like to draw your attention to where I'm actually welding. This is basically a huge cabinet that's mounted to the side of the garage wall. I've made a video about it, uh, have a look if you're curious. Time for another test fit. There's the tab, washer, whatever you want to call it. And here's the hoop to stabilize the tires on the top tray. And here's the tire trolley in all her unpainted glory. I think the fabrication is done. Before I can start painting, I need to remove the flaking chrome and rust and other rubbish so that the paint sticks well. A big wire brush and angle grinder is very efficient but oh so hard work. A step that's easily forgotten but makes a big difference is to actually clean the surfaces. I'm just using some uh, brake cleaner and a rag to get rid of any grease. A bit of painter's tape on the casters will protect them from the paint. I really wanted to finish this project so despite the very high winds on that day I decided I'd give it a go painting it all. First I'm applying some primer Then it's time for some uh, what I call garage blue paint. After a day or so of drying, it was time to remove the masking tape, assemble the whole thing and apply protection. And as you can see, it's very quick and easy to assemble. Just the two nuts at each end of the upright. I'm using this pipe insulation to protect the wheels and rims from the hard metal. I position the wheels on the trolley and then just simply mark out where the rim might be touching the metal.
With a sharp knife I cut the insulation to length. After I position the insulation on the trolley, I secure them with some cable ties. I ran out of pipe insulation and I found these pads of foam. I thought it was a good idea at the time, but uh, here's version one of the protection system. Let's see if it actually works. It wasn't bad, but I wasn't really happy with it. This wasn't good enough, not at all. This just didn't do it. Oh, these will. On the board. Do it again, but better. There we go, that's much better. So here it is, my tire trolley. Not too bad considering it's built from scrap and it's my first MIG welding project. I hope it works out and I hope it lasts. Mm -hmm.